Hello and welcome to a very special video that I have for you all today where I'm going to be talking you through one of my losing trades on Bitcoin. Yes, I am a YouTuber. Yes, I am a Twitter guy. And yes, I am talking you through a losing trade today. Uh, obviously, in this space, it does not happen very often at all. And I believe that is because of the real big negative uh, stigma that there is with you know, taking a loss. Uh, and my aim of this video is to just really, uh, you know, partly just pass on my knowledge and, and, you know, partly also just say, you know, taking a loss is to be expected. There is no 100% win rate in trading, okay? We are trading the game of probabilities. Uh, so with that in mind, what separates a poor or average trader to a good and profitable trader is their risk management and how they deal with a loss when it comes. Because you do know a loss can happen on any trade you take, okay? So with that said, uh, I hope that you thoroughly appreciate this video. Obviously, there's no real benefit to me of me making it, but for you, I really hope that you can see the benefits uh, of this video. I hope to pass on some great knowledge and, um, you know, hopefully use this as some sort of inspiration, uh, you know, that would be absolutely great and, and make my day if I, if I can help at least one person here. So I uh, hope that you appreciate this one. And let's go. Let's begin. Obviously, this, oh, by the way, is the off at the back of the tweet I made a few days ago now saying, uh, you know, I'm more than happy to talk about a loss, uh, you know, because, you know, I take losses and, uh, you know, here is the last loss that I took. So I'm talking you through this one. Uh, and I just guess thank you uh, for some of these really, really nice comments I've received recently. You know, that's that's what inspires me uh, to keep on making the content for you all. So thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So the loss I took on Bitcoin. OK, so uh, it was a long, by the way. So I was a long, quite aggressive on my longs recently. Um, and that's because of the context. We are in a, in my opinion, you know, at least over the last few months, a bullish market, bullish market structure. Longs have been the better trade. OK, and context is so important when we talk about trades. OK, if this was a bear market, if this was in 2018 and we saw this drop, all I'd look to is short the next rise. But because we're in, you know, this uptrend, after a drop down like this, I'm looking aggressively for long positions, okay? And that's what I took. Um, so I, I've got a few print screens from recent tweets that I've made, okay? And, uh, you know, this is what I'm saying. You know, am I wrong for locking long in this massive drop? In the end, yes, I suppose I was wrong, okay? And, you know, but th this is the thing. When you enter a trade, you need to know when you're right, when you're wrong, and when, uh, you know, there's a sign of weakness. And here, I, you know, I'm happy to admit my stake. If we lose the macro point of control, that for me is like an invalidation level. Obviously, off the back of this, so as our quick drop down to where we hit around uh, 9,725 mean low, we had like a long lower wick. But I was entering my longs around, you know, this 9,800 region. Uh, and on top of that one, I was, um, you know, that, that's basically where I entered my first long. It was on this wick, okay? And for me, uh, at, you know, at first it, it, it went pretty nice, okay? Because what we can see is off the back of that big drop down, we did have a, another rise. And you can see here how we dropped, had another rise, dropped and have another rise. And this is the thing. At, when you are a trader, okay, and you have to you have to acknowledge that I am more of a short term time frame trader. So I am not uh, really a, a, a trader that's going to hold a position for months and months or weeks and weeks on end. You know, I'm more of a trader that's in and out relatively quickly. OK, obviously, I, I do swing trade, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I am specialized in you know these short term moves. So uh, for me, like when I'm getting these moves down, OK, when I'm seeing these moves down, I do take profits on my trades. OK, so obviously this is, uh, I suppose, a, a screenshot of after that long, this is where I was taking profit at 9,976. <clears throat> why do we take profit as a trader? OK, the reason why you take profits is because um, you, you want to pay yourself. OK, so if you manage to catch, you know, a long off the bottom of the channel, when you come up to the middle of the channel, you've got to pay yourself. You've got to reward yourself in some way. What this does is firstly, it feels good to take profits. The only people that don't take profits are going to be... Um, you know, the people that will be greedy and think, oh, I'm not, you know, they could long here and it gets to here and they'll think, well, oh, I'm not going to take profits because it's going to keep going up and up and up. Why would I take profits here when I can take profits up here? You know, that's the wrong way to think. You, you cannot get greedy as a trader. You really cannot get greedy thinking that something's just going to keep going. Otherwise, you will, will be in the situation where you have profits, you see very nice profits, and then those profits turn to a loss. And then you would, I am, I'm sure, kick yourself for not locking in at least a percentage. So for me, this was... Uh, off the back of this, um, you know, locking in a percentage of my profits. Uh, was it the whole trade? Absolutely no, it wasn't. But, uh, you know, it was locking in a percentage. I will show you this this blocked tweet, by the way, of the guy that I've just, I just blocked people instantly now. Proof of trade, please. I I'm sorry if, if this isn't enough proof, then um, I literally have no idea what you're on about. But yeah, for that reason, blocked. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on. 
off of the back of that uh, long, I did compound my long. Okay, so obviously first long here took profit, and I added to my long position as we come down. This was for me nice confluence where you had like the swing failure pattern of the lows onto the six one eight. Okay, for me that is a very strong uh, support where I felt very uh, confident in my. I must admit, I did feel very confident uh, in this long position. Again, I would look to take profits at the middle of my channel. But at the end of the day, I was looking to take this higher to, to around 10,250, if I'm honest, 10,000. Obviously, I was aware of the gap as well at 10,400. Um, obviously, on the CME, and the CME is, is inflated prices, you know, they're trading at a big premium. So that would bring you to around 10,250-ish uh, is where I was looking to take this long, if I'm honest. Um, and, you know, this is the thing. At, at this moment in time, I saw no reason. You know, I had no invalidation. There was no reason for me to be bearish. I had seen drops down, bought up, drops down, okay, taking out a lot of longs and, you know, bought up. So I had, um, you know, as well as holding the bottom of my channel, you can see there was no closes below this thus far. OK, and this is where now I'm starting to, I suppose, get a bit, one could say, possibly overconfident. I mean, as a trader, I, I, I am must i say I, I'm, I'm good at managing my emotions. I'm, I'm never going to get carried away. I'm always looking at bullish and bearish scenarios. I can assure you that uh, I don't, don't become euphoric anymore. Maybe maybe when I first started trading many years ago, I did, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, <clears throat> get very like euphoric and think, oh, this is this is so good. This is oh, this, what a trade. But, you know, now, uh, you know, I'm very, very open to, you know, always just keeping on top of my trades, not getting carried away, not thinking, oh, look at this bounce. We're going straight to 14,000, you know much more of a level to level calm and uh, you know calm calm trade if I'm honest uh so yeah that was obviously off a of bounce here and what you can see is for me we uh come up to the middle of the channel again which by the way was from this high to the low also the 618 resistance so it's it's another reason you, you've got to be taking profits here so I did take profits on the middle of that channel and obviously what we can see there is we came back down to the midpoint and then we started holding it as resistance okay so from my longs that I had been taking, this was for me the, the red sign and I built built up a pretty big long, okay? But this was for me now a, a, a bearish sign that we had come up. We had rejected off of the 618, which as you can see was also the middle of the channel. Okay, we had rejected off the middle of the channel 618 and then we come back down below and then we were holding the middle of this channel, okay, or sorry, the top of this other sideways channel that I have as resistance, 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 unable to break through with the long higher wicks, almost a shooting star candle on this one through the top of the channel closing back down below. This is a sign of weakness, okay, and this is the thing. Um, a good good uh, bit of knowledge, I suppose, is that you want to let your winners, um, you know, you can let your winners run, okay, e.g. take profits and, you know, trail stop losses. But when you see signs of weakness, when you are starting to see signs that you could be wrong, you want to close losing trades as quickly as possible, okay? That doesn't mean getting scared, moving your stops up to break even too quick, etc., etc., etc. You know, as long as you have a, a you know, a very methodical, um, a very, a very you know clear plan okay and you a thought process where you can clearly identify weakness and, and identify invalidation levels you are better off okay if you think a trade is going to come against you closing out of that trade early even if it's for a loss which in this case i did take a loss uh you know you're better at closing out of that trade and and for a small loss than why why wait till your stop loss is hit okay there's no need to wait for a stop loss to be hit if you can identify and obviously this is 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 uh easier said than done because i appreciate many of you are still like learning to trade and stuff but um you know when you when you get to the level where you can identify this weakness then you've got to be open to admitting you're wrong okay if you as as i kind of you know this is this is the thing that a few days ago i was you know happily would say off of the back of these moves here this one and this one you know i was, I was feeling absolutely great absolutely no reason to be bearish obviously these moves as well you know you're going from nine thousand six hundred and fifty to ten thousand these, these are big moves to you know get in on essentially um but then when you start to see weakness in the chart obviously the weakness here is the fact you cannot break over 618 at, at all and your fact you're making bearish market structure with lower highs lower lows and i was just envisioning this to come down again for another lower low here so bearish market structure locally you've got to recognize that weakness and be able to admit okay i was wrong in this setup uh i was wrong in this idea i i should close out for a loss before it gets too big okay so if you can identify the weakness and close out of a loss before it gets unmanageable okay or you know obviously if a trade hits your stop loss then it shouldn't be unmanageable but if you can minimize the losses then overall along the long term you should see consistency and uh, this was quite a funny tweet uh from somebody um 
yeah, this guy. I mean, I mean, literally, I, just because, as this guy says, you have no idea how t technical analysis works. If you um, feel uh, really frustrated about me one day being bullish, okay, off of the back of these moves, which did you know include very high percentage moves if you're day traders uh, then you get you know frustrated about me going into a short position or saying my setup is invalidated um you know as this guy says you you have no idea how technical analysis works okay obviously there's a difference between saying oh one day i'm bullish one day i'm bearish one day i'm bullish one day i'm bearish and like flip-flopping 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 uh then that that's not how technical analysis works but if you are you know you have a plan you have a strategy and you are open to admitting you're wrong and saying you know this is where my invalidation is i want to get out of this trade you get somehow annoyed by this well guess what's going to happen if you try and do anything like that to me blocked <laughs> as that guy got blocked um as you can see, there's a common recurrence. I don't, I don't bother replying to anyone now. It's just like instant block, instant block. Uh, no time for it. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next tweet that I wanted to uh, you know, highlight to you all is know how to identify weakness and where you are invalidated and you can still make money even when you are, you know, your original idea is wrong. This is where, you know, as I said here, holding a strong bias or an ego of not admitting when you're wrong, uh, you are guaranteed to lose money. For instance, if I had being uh, the type of trader that's going to say, you know, openly, have, you know, posted on Twitter, for example, openly posted to my group, I'm, I'm bullish off of the back of these moves, I'm buying and I'm going long, obviously I'm taking profits, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, saying, you know, I'm, I'm long, I'm looking for longs here. Um, if then I see an invalidation and instead of saying, okay, I'm wrong on this setup, okay, which is, in my opinion, a good thing to be able to recognize and do. Um, but instead, I have such an ego. I don't want to admit I'm wrong, you know. Or all I could have done is, as it come down lower, just kept on buying and buying and buying and buying as it goes down, you know, saying, I'm not wrong here. We're going to get the bounce. But, you know, does that make sense? What is it better to do? Admit you're wrong and close out of the trade or hold on to this bias, hold on to this ego of, not, of saying, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lose this trade. I don't want to close out this trade. It's going to come good in the end. What do you think is, this is a rhetorical question, what do you think is going to come good at the end of the day? Okay, consistency over the long term. Are you going to make more money by recognizing when you're wrong, recognizing weakness and closing out a, tra a trade? Okay, or are you going to make more money by saying, opening along and as it keeps coming down and down and down and down and down and down and down, saying, you know, I'm not closing out this trade, it's going to bounce, it's going to bounce, it's going to bounce, it's going to bounce. I cannot admit I'm wrong, it's, it's going to happen. Who's going to make, who's going to be more consistent? at the end of the day it's for you to think in my opinion obviously it's it's being able to recognize you know invalidations and this is the this is the thing that i want to highlight here is in trading i guess i kind of mentioned at the start in trading everything is a probability there are no guaranteed trades okay so every trade that i take there's obviously a risk that i can lose it okay and with that in mind that's obviously why risk management is so important um but quite a funny quite a funny thing I, I guess I'll say to you all is um you know one thing that many people ask me what you know when when they you know people that are not traders I suppose people that in, in real life they ask me what I do and I say that you know I'm a trader some people uh especially the uh no, no, what I say, but some people uh, will say you know isn't that just gambling okay they, they, they really have no idea how the market works okay and my, my answer is normally do you think I could have made the amount of money that I had if it was all gambling? As well as uh, just the simple fact, uh, if you look at the win rates of my trades, okay, uh, you can you cannot have such a high win rate that I do have if it's just luck, if it's just gambling. You know, there is 100% an edge in this market. If you can recognize the markets, you can recognize these tools, put them to good use, you 100% can have an edge and be successful and profitable and consistent in your trades. Like, and I'm sure... You know the demographic that i have here uh you know wanting to learn to trade understand that there's clearly there's clearly an edge and there's clearly people that run these markets but um you know you know at the end of the day it's not a gamble but you then on top of that it's not a gamble but you have to know it's a game of probabilities okay and that's why we only take the trades with the best probabilities we're not just taking here there here there here there 50 50 trades we're you know we're waiting for the, the confluences the, the levels to come together the context of the trades to all line up to take only the best trades and i do believe i took a good trade here okay am i wrong i suppose yes i am wrong because i was building along um and obviously price fell down um but nevertheless you know that has to happen in trading you cannot win every trade um 
so yeah and that, I hope that that, that 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 was section was helpful for you all um, and how you can just see how this 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 channel continues to be absolutely perfect by the way I will just like really quickly highlight it to you all but you can see here on this channel how we obviously were going from high to low to high to midpoint to midpoint to midpoint to high to low to high to low to midpoint to low to midpoint to low to the midpoint here I mean, this this channel for me, uh, off of the back of the you know losing trade that I've taken here, I must have done about six winning trades. <laughs> so um, you know, six six you know let's just let's just say four four five winning trades I must have taken off of this because uh, obviously I was longing back here and then the one losing trade you take you know it's it's, it's not going to damage you in any way shape or form. But you know there's obviously going to be people that are you know just uh, I don't know man <laughs> I don't know where I was going with it but um, you know. It's at the end of the day, I just really wanted to make this video just to highlight to you all, you know, I am going to be taking a loss, okay? It is a game of probabilities. It's impossible to win every trade. Please, 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 if I can, like, open up about one thing in this video, it's, it's you have to know how to control your losses. You really have to be open to taking a loss. If you are not open to taking a loss, you, you're not going to be winning at the end of the day. You, you have to be open to taking a loss. You have to be open to recognising where you're wrong okay recognizing when you're wrong closing the trade and concentrate on your winners but also i guess a bonus tip is journal 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 record all your trades record your statistics where you do where you're doing good <clears throat> where you're doing wrong how can you improve okay um and and you should start to see consistency and i'd like to end with a little bit of a I suppose uh, psychology a bit of psychology or inspiration maybe uh, of a post that i uh, put in the group of mine. You might have to pause the screen and read all of this, by the way. So, um, yeah. But basically, I suppose I could read it. But 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 basically, what what you know, I, I suppose better to pause and read. But um, what I was going through here is, um, I kind of want to read it, but I don't want to make this video too long. But I've already gone for sixteen minutes. Let, let's go, let's go for a little skim because I believe I can make it more powerful if I read. So the difference between a champion and someone who is forgotten is a champion shows up. Okay, the, uh, the that's the only thing every day shows up. Sorry, I've, I've worded this probably a little bit wrong, but <laughs> don't ignore the grammar. Take a note of what I'm saying. The only difference between a loser and a champion is a champion will show up every day. A champion gives himself to make a difference. Okay. Because success doesn't know these things about, you know, I'm too cold to do this. I'm too tired. I don't have the time. You know, there's so many excuses that you can make. But, um, you know, success doesn't know excuses. Okay. So if it doesn't know, all it knows is if you showed up, if you show up and put in the time. For some of you, uh, when when uh, for some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Don't just take this willy nilly. Don't just think, oh, you know, I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it tomorrow. Take every opportunity as it's your last opportunity. I mean, rhetorical question again, but do you think I got to where I got to today by being lazy, by being stubborn, by saying I'll do it tomorrow, by putting things off? I must say no I put in a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of time a lot of hours and it's not easy being a trader is not easy but it is the most rewarding and amazing thing that you will get by the end of it I, I mean I hope that you can like just see how far I've come and use that as an inspiration I suppose but um you know don't act as if there is an opp another opportunity use this as your last if you really want it you've got to fight for it okay you cannot just say you want it you cannot just watch a video and say I want this as bad as I want to breathe you know it's nice to say you want to be a trader but when it's showtime when the sun comes up you, you know you've got all the books you've got all the videos you've got all the cheat sheets you've got all the access now is the time to do it don't keep putting it off don't do it Oh, you know, doing it here and there. Put in all your effort, put in the time and you will see the rewards. OK, you know, if trading was easy, everybody would do it. You're going to feel upset sometimes. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. Just go through it. I'm going to take a quick drink. One second. OK, apologies. I, I know I'm not, I'm not the best speaker, but there we go. I hope this is helping. I know. Why do you want to become a champion? What do you want to accomplish? Why are you doing this? If you say, I want to become a trader, so maybe, you know, if I want to become a trader, so, you know, maybe one day I can be financially free and provide for my family. Maybe I can work when I want, make my own hours, do what I want to do. I, I, I say, if you think this way, you're going to be a loser. You are not going to make it if that is your thought, you know, if that's how you think. You are never going to make it because there is no maybe. 
okay? You have to get up and you say, I want to be a champion. I will do whatever it takes. The amount of hours it takes, the amount of studying it takes, the amount of capital it takes, the amount of rewatched videos it takes, whatever it takes, I will do it. That is the answer I want to hear from you. So there is no maybes. There is, you know, maybe I will become a trader and I'll become financially free. That's not the way a winner works okay a champion does not think you know maybe i'll do this champion thinks i am gonna do this i am gonna smash this trade i'm gonna win this trade as i've said many times confidence self-confidence is a must okay you, you cannot go through life thinking you know i you know i'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay you know i'm okay at this you know I, I i honestly think i wake up every morning i look at my charts i think i'm gonna win this trade i'm the best trader in crypto <laughs> I am the best trader in crypto. I'm going to smash this trade. I'm going to win this trade and I'm going to make some money today. If I woke up in the morning and said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm okay at trading. Uh, you know, maybe I'll win, maybe I'll lose today. You know, who, who knows? I'm not going to be, I'm not, I'm not going to have the, the I'm not just not going to be in the zone. The, the zone for me is thinking, you know, I am the best. And some people hate it when I say that. Some people really get annoyed when I refer to myself as a, you know, a good <laughs> trader. But, you know, for me, you know, I really believe I am, and and that's part of being a champion. You 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 know, I feel I'm the best. But you know, moving on, uh, you can detect right away those that are not fully invested in themselves or their goals, those that will fall behind or not go all the way, and those that are very hungry, and those that have the hunger to develop. Because you have to create a goal for yourself, short and long term, and you have to go after that. And if you do not see it, and if you do not believe it, who else will? If you have the goal, if you have the dream. And you don't believe that dream yourself, nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else is going to encourage you. No one else is going to push you. If you yourself do not push yourself, you have to strive. You have to be hungry. You have to want. And if you have all of that, if you are so invested in something, you will naturally attract the energy around you. You are only going to move forward. You are only going to attract positive energy. If you have positive energy, if you are negative, if you are low on life, you are not going to attract positive energy. And, uh, you know, if you do not have those goals, no one else is going to push you towards your goals. You have to start off with yourself. And when you start pushing towards your goals, you will attract people that will help you and push you towards your goals. So, you know, thought, you know, the thought process behind us is just really powerful. You have to be invested. You have to put in the time, you know. Um, yeah, no, there we go. So there are there are those that get some losses and give up. OK, and then there are those that take some losses and learn and advance from each one. That is what divides a champion from not being a champion. If you can go through this pain period, you can make it to become a champion. Exactly like what I wanted to go through today. If I had taken a loss, okay, if I had taken a loss, uh, you know, this loss that I took a few days ago, if I took that loss and I'd become depressed, I'd be like, oh, I've lost, I've lost some money here. What, what do I do? You know, I can't take this loss. I want to keep holding on to it. I'm waiting for a bounce. Maybe you're underwater and you think, please bounce, please bounce. I just want to get out break even. I just, just want to get out of this trade. No, I am locking in the loss. I'm taking the loss. I'm not caring. I literally couldn't give it, a, you know, I couldn't care less if I take a loss. I took a loss. I move on to my next trade. And guess what? After I took that loss, after I took that loss, I did take another trade. And my next trade, by the way, was from the bottom of this channel to the top of this channel. And I literally traded it perfectly. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, that's that's the thing. That's what separates the winners and the losers. The losers are going to become, you know, overly thinking about loss. And I'm not saying don't think about a loss. You know, where I am in my trading life is going to be different than a beginner. When you take a loss, you should study the loss and learn from the loss don't just take the loss and forget about it you do want to record the loss okay you do want to make some notes about that loss and, and learn from it so you're not making the same mistake again and and sometimes you know the loss that i took wouldn't really classify it so much as a mistake but just maybe a little bit of an early entry if anything i suppose but nevertheless that i believe my thought process was correct but it's just the you know that's the thing in trading you can't win everyone sometimes you can identify why the loss and you can like adapt but you know where I am. Obviously, I feel my strategy is is is, is it doesn't need to be adapted so much. But um, you know, record your losses as a beginner and learn from those losses. Okay, and uh, you know, as as I men mentioned here, you know, that's what divides the the champions and you know the the spectators. That the spectators or you know the lower levels and are not going to uh, know how to you know take those losses they're not going to learn from those losses they're going to just keep taking losses day after day after day. Whereas a champion is going to you know learn from every loss that they take. OK, so um, moving on, <laughs> you have to surround uh, da, 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 da. Um, there moving on to this this paragraph. You cannot give up. I know this is why I just you know this is. Yeah, you cannot give up. 
Pain is temporary. Pain is your friend. Pain is going to take you to that next level. I refer to the pain of losses. Okay. When you're going through pain of losses, I know what you're feeling. I know exactly because I have been there. I have done that. You know, don't think that I didn't, when I first started, take a lot of losses. I did take a lot of losses when I was, you know, starting as a trader. But I took those losses and I learned from those losses. I liked to take losses because every loss for me was a learning experience. Do you think that helped me improve as a trader? Hell yes. Hell yes, it helped me improve. But, um, you know, you know, I was there. I know the feeling of going on a losing streak. I know the feeling of, of you know, thinking, you know, you know I'm not going to make it. You know, I have gone through those stages in my life and I've come out the other side more stronger, I suppose. Um, but, you know, you've got to get through it. And uh, the reason why so many people are not champion traders is because every single time trades do not go their way, they give up. You have to surround yourself with positivity if you want to move forward. The people who you surround yourself with have a massive influence on your life. So align yourself with powerful people. Align yourself with people that can encourage and empower you. People you can learn from. People you can grow from. You want to align yourself with people who think like you, dream like you. People who want more out of life. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. But it does take time and dedication to become a champion. Let's rock this 2020. Really strive and work hard for your dreams. Show your progress. Help others. And as one, we will succeed and your goals will be met. And, uh, you know, this is why I'm a strong advocate of, you know, putting yourself in a really positive community. And obviously, for me anyway, like this chart champions community is, is one of great positivity. We have people putting out charts every day. We have people really striving and moving forward for what they want. And I feel that some of the students, for example, that have, you know, come into full-time traders that have started to become very profitable traders, they are, are used then as inspiration. People can see, you know, wow, this guy has only, you know, has started trading and he's, 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 he's really, you know, putting the time, he's putting the hours, he's, he's made the effort and, and he's really completing his goals. And when people can actually see, they can actually see the results, the proof that is put in front of them. It's powerful and that is inspirational. Okay. For, for, I mean, for, for me, obviously I haven't been on social media 10 years, but you know, for me, I feel my story is is, is pretty inspirational, I suppose. I, I did not start with anything. You know, I was not born into money. Everything that I have today, I worked very, 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 very hard for. I was not handed anything on a plate. And, um, you know, when I first started out, did I think I would make the amount of money I have? No way, no way, no way. I guess I could have only dreamed about it. Okay, I literally could have only dreamed about it. And then to have that dream become a reality is, is powerful. It's, it's really great. And now for me to pass on this and see people that were similar to me, people that, you know, don't necessarily come from money, people that maybe do come from money, but they, they're, they're, they're working, uh, you know, just people, for example, that they're, they're working their jobs, but they don't enjoy their job. They, they don't want to work the nine to five. They don't want to be a slave of society. They, they want to make something of themselves. They want to, you know, become a trader, become financially free, all the benefits and perks that become, you know, uh, becoming a trader are. And, uh, you know, we have people in the community that are, you know, striving towards that goal and some people that have completed it, some people that are now full time trading. And I think that's a, a massive inspiration when you can actually see that it's happening is so powerful. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm saying here, you got to surround yourself with positivity. Yes, you can become a trader on your own uh, and you can grind on your own very, very, very hard. OK, but when you integrate yourself within a community, when you integrate yourself with the positivity, when you integrate yourself with people that are, you know, in a trading perspective, sharing charts every day, okay, they're giving opinions in, and it's not just random opinions like you'll see on Twitter where you'll see somebody saying X, Y, and Z, moon boy comments, um, you know, they're actually giving structured opinions. Um, you know, that, that's, that's what, that's what you want. That's really, really is what you want. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's the end of the video today. I suppose it <laughs> wasn't envisaging this part to go on for so long. I did want to focus actually on on the on the on the trade, but um, yeah, I think I went on for a little bit too long there reading through all this. But I, I do hope, nevertheless, it was a little <laughs> was helpful or inspire. You know, I, I don't know. I don't like to think that I'm an. I don't know, man. I just hope that it was uh, beneficial. You know, um, the loss that I took on Bitcoin, yeah, I, I took a loss. You know, d does it affect me as a trader? No, I take a loss and I move on to my next trade. I recognize that losses are part of the game. I recognize there is no 100% win rate. Okay, I, I, I understand that. And uh, when I understand that, I, I 
I'm open to taking a loss, you know, I'm, I'm really, really open to it. And I have no, you know, I, I have nothing to prove. Okay. At the end of the day, I, I don't actually care whether you think I'm a good trader or not. I myself know I'm a good trader. Um, so, you know, I, I have nothing to prove on that regards in it for me anyway. So, um, you know, there we go. I hope that this again, once again, I really hope, really, 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 really hope that at least I can help uh, a few people with this video. And if, if I have, um, you know, I would really appreciate your thoughts down below. Please let me know in your in in, the, in a comment below whether you've liked this video, um, you know, whether it has helped you in some way, shape or form. I would love to know, um, you know, it would make my day. It really would make my day to just just have a few comments of, of um, anything really. Maybe you have a comment unrelated to trading and you just want to share something inspirational, you know, please put that positivity down below. And, uh, you know, that's what that's what I want to see. If, if, I, if I can get one thing from that video, um, I hope it's, it's that I've helped somebody today. So, uh, yeah, thank you once again, everybody. I really hope that you have an amazing week ahead. Uh, I'm going to be fairly inactive over the next few weeks because I am off to Brazil. I'm off to Brazil for the uh, for the carnival. So that should be uh, really, really fun. Um, so yeah, just so you're aware, I will not be active, if I'm honest. Um, so I will be enjoying life and, that, and that's what you want to do, you know. <laughs> make it make it doing whatever you enjoy, you know, be that trading. But then you've got to, you know, use your time. Don't, don't just get so obsessed with the charts. Don't just put in literally, you know, don't put in all, all, all of your time. You do have to relax. You do have to take a step back up from time to time and, and, and you know, reward and treat yourself because you can get a little bit unhealthy if you literally put in all your time. You, you need to, you know, take a step back. Use everything in moderation, okay? But, you know, at the end of the day, if you want something, you do have to be serious about it. You do have to put the time, um, that's the only way you can really make anything in life. Uh, so be a champion. And there we go. Thank you, everybody. And goodbye. Cheers.